And also the ulama mention in the chapter in fiqh regarding al-qadh. And al-qadh is an accusation which is made against another person. Like for example the accusation of kufr, takfir, the accusation of disbelief. Or for example accusing another person of fahisha, indecency and immorality. And the sharia, it established many things. And from those matters which were established by the sharia, is the protection of a person's religion and this is with regards to the hukum of the murtad and also protecting, pe protecting people's intellect and this is why khamar has been forbidden and also to protect and make sacred the honor of people and this is why it is not permitted for a person to violate the honor of another person and if this was done under the sharia then that person whose honor was violated he has a right to complain to the Qadi, the Muslim judge, and then the punishment is applied to that person who violated his honor. And for this reason, if a, a person is accused of murder, it requires two trustworthy witnesses. And if those two trustworthy witnesses are found, and then the state or the ruler looks at the judgment and analyzes the case, and they found that person to be guilty, then the Islamic punishment is applied with two trustworthy, reliable witnesses. However, when it comes to an accusation of a zina, of adultery, four witnesses are required, four trustworthy, reliable witnesses. Why? Because this relates to this accusation, it relates to the honor of a person. And that honor has to be sacred and protected. And also the Sharia, ah, it established and it came with the protection of people's wealth. And how is the wealth of the people protected? And also the Sharia, ah, it came with the command to protect the wealth of the people. And how does the Sharia ah protect the wealth of the people? That the ruler or the Qadi has a right to control the wealth of certain groups of people. And that is the one who is young and the one who has a mental disability because both of these groups of people they don't know how to look after and spend their wealth and so in this case the state or the qadi is all able to control their wealth or give power of attorney to people who will be guardians over their wealth so this is one section the other section there are some people who enter into business and, tr and trading and maybe they they lose and then enters into another business deal and then loses another business deal a third one then loses again and then the debts and the loans are building up and the people are requesting from him to repay the debts and and so this person who is taking on debts and failing in businesses and his debts are growing and people are requesting for the loan to be, pa be paid back and he's not paying the loan back what do they do they go to the qadi the muslim judge the muslim court and they raise a case against him. Naam. And they say that this person, he is taking people's money and it's a game to him and he's not paying the money. So here, the Qadi has a right to enforce an order upon that person, like an order of in insolvency, and take control by force of the wealth of this person. And this is because some people, they do not desist except by the power of the law. And this is why in this country, if you know of people who are planning violence or to blow or to bomb certain places, it is an obligation upon you to notify the authorities regarding that person. And if you do not notify the authorities regarding this person who is planning these activities, then you are an associate of his in this action. Why? Because this person being prevented from this level of violence and bombing and indiscriminate killing, this is for the benefit of all of us. And if a person said, but why is it your business? Let him kill the non-Muslims. Because if you look around you and if you listen and if you watch these cases, you will see that these people are not killing non-Muslims. They are killing Muslims. It is the masajid which are being blown up. And why? Because this person believes that as for the non-Muslims, they were non-Muslims by default. But as for you people, you are murtadin, you are apostates, you have left the fold of Islam. And this is a deen, this is his aqidah, this is what he believes. And he also believes that the killing of a murtad, i.e. me and you, comes first before the killing of the kafir asli. And this is why we have to understand and study who is a murtad.
So it isn't the case that any individual who commits a major sin now becomes an apostate like what these people think. And for this reason, our brothers, we have to learn. Because through learning and through knowledge, you are removing ignorance from yourself and you're removing ignorance from others. And therefore, these problems do not occur.